Hey everybody, it's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Today is uh, the 30th, I believe, of August. And that is meaning that it is finished pages time. I went and had lunch with my mom and my sister and my husband today for her birthday, so that was fun. And um, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Tomorrow is my little niece Marina's birthday. She's going to be three. So she's having a party up at my mom's house, and we're going to go up there to celebrate. And that's really all that's happening. It's actually been a lot calmer than I thought it was going to be this weekend, so that's good. Um, I'm feeling good today. My joints are a little stiff, but that's because... I had a lot of sugar today. I had some soda and I had some uh, ice cream. And I can always tell I've really cut back on eating sweets because it hurts my joints. And um, I can definitely feel it right now. So I'm a little stiff, but we are going to get started. So grab a snack and a drink and enjoy. So I worked out of a lot of books this last month as per usual and I have a f quite a few stacks I have some whips I'll try and show you guys too and I'm just trying to gather everything here okay so the first book I worked out of was fall friends and this was most recently this is by Deborah Muller and I did two pages out of here I did this one and this cute puppy one. And my whip is this one. So this one will be done next month, hopefully. The next book I worked out of was Mandela's. And I did this one. And this one. The next book I worked out of was Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge. And I did it this page. I like this page. It didn't take me too long because I automatically knew what I wanted to color it. And it only took me about um, a couple hours, I would say. But yeah, I like this one. I did a lot of autumn and Halloween pictures this, this month. So next month I'm gonna take a break because last year I really burnt myself out on the Halloween pictures. Um, cause I colored a ton in like July and August and I was totally just, I didn't want to do any Halloween pictures in October <laughs> when it was actually time to color Halloween. But this is Eerie and Tangled Art by Angela Porter. I really love these books. They're very busy, but they're fun to color in. And I did it this page. And I just kind of threw everything at it. There's pencil, there's metallic markers, there's uh, acrylic paint pens, and Tombows, I think. Yeah. But it looks really pretty. I like it. The pages do look really fun when they're finished. And that's all that I've done in it so far. But I like this book. Next one is Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodridge. Where's the page? Oh yeah, and that's this one. I 
I like this book a lot too. It's very easy to do. Um, it takes any kind of medium very well. And the pictures always turn out really cute. So I did this one. I tried to put my Creative Haven books together. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Not that you're even looking, probably. Okay, the next book that I worked out of is Country Charm by Teresa Goodridge. Oops, got my little stickies. I need to take those out. And I, I think I finished a whip in here. Yes, I finally finished this one. I love this page. This is probably my favorite page that I've colored this month. It just is really beautifully blended and I'm really proud of how I did it. It took me like five months to color. So this one, um, I just started it and I kept kind of slowly working my way through it. And I really like it. It's very summery. There's Daisy out in the field playing. This book is so good. I highly recommend this book. If you don't have it, get it. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Next book is 50 Swirly Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. And I finished this whip. It's okay. It's just a whip. Or, oh, it's just a whip. It's just a page. And I don't remember if I showed this one, but I did this one either last month or the month before. I have some kind of whips that I want to finish too. That one I need to finish. But yeah, colored quite a bit in this book. It's definitely one of the longer books that of hers that I have it takes me a little bit longer to do the pages for some reason so but it's a really good book nonetheless the next one I did is 50 beautiful Ma mermaids by Camellia Angelkova and I finished this whip it's very pink but that's okay I don't really like the colors that I picked, to be honest, but they're not too bad. They're just not that great. I used a lot of metallic um, sparkle pen on her fins and the edging, and then I used glitter gel pen for the water. You can kind of see it shine. Next, I worked out of Halloween Patterns by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I did this one. And did I do another one? No. I did that one back in June. And I started this one, so that's my next whip. I think I'm going front to back in this book. Yeah. This is an another good book. I like this one. Next one I worked out of was Hocus Pocus Witches by Deborah Muller. I did this one on the 8th. I thought that one turned out cute. And I did this one on the 8th. Very purple. The next one is that one out of this book. But yeah, I've done quite a bit in this book. Another really good book. Next book I worked out of was Halloween Color by Number by Nikki Sharma. This one, little cutie, little cute kitty. I 
and I did this one. That one, I did this one. I think I did this one a while ago, or maybe not. Or maybe I just didn't mark it. These ones are really fast to do, so they don't take me very long. I used touch wool markers in this book. Next, I worked out of Pastel Goth Cute and Creepy Coloring Book. And I did this page. I like this one. This one's cute. Next, I worked out of Paper Cut Art by Satch and Satch Diva. I did this one. I didn't color the background in this one because I didn't feel like it. And I did this one. This one weirded me out for some reason. I don't feel like I colored this one very well, but that's okay. Next one I worked out of is Autumn Harvest by Teresa Goodridge. And I finished the whip. I thought he turned out very cute. Here. Next one is Desert Muse by Carla Magana. And I did this one. This was a whip. Oh, I got a little bit left to do, but it's pretty much done. This book has taken me a little bit to get used to, I'll be honest. I don't really care too much for the art. Um, I mean, the pages, they turn out good either way, but I just, I don't know. There's something about this book that I'm not too fond of, and I don't know what it is. But then we have Eerie Patisserie, and I love this book. I did this page on the 6th, and I really, really like how this page turned out. I did half her hair in glitter gel pen and then the rest in marker and her earrings in acrylic paint pen. Next I finished a whip out of Nourish by Angie Grace. I started watching the Hindi colorist I think is what her name is. Or maybe it's the Indian colorist. But she's the sweetest lady. And I will link her channel down below. And she does amazing mandalas. And it got me in the mood to coloring mandalas again. So I finished this one. And this is my whip. But these ones take me forever to do. So there's a lot in here. Next, we have a new book of mine, Spooky Cute by Coco Wayo, and I did the first couple pages. I did this one. This book is all over TikTok. And I did this one. Next we have Stress Relief, Bold and Easy by Coco Wayo. I did this one. And this one. And this is my whip. The ice cream truck. Oops. Next 
Next we have Little Corner by Coco Wild. And I did this one. Next, I finished a whip out of Mosaic Animals, color by number. That was this one. And I did this one. Next, I worked out of Mermaids by Coloring Haven. And I did this one. Then I worked out of Gypsy Caravan by Deborah Muller. And I did this one. I love her. Another one of my favorite pictures this month. And I did this one. I love her too. She's just funky and cool. I use some metallic paint pen and my silver paint pen and then some markers and my neons. Then I finished one out of Autumn Inspirations by George Tufexis. And that was this one. And I have a whip, which is this one. Yeah, I just was working on this a little bit this month. These ones just take me a really long time to do too, but they turn out so good. Next, I worked out of 50 Halloween Miniatures by Camilla Andrikova. And I finished this whip. And I finished this whip. And I'm on this one. And I'm a little over halfway done with this book, so maybe I'll finish it this year. Next, I worked out of 50 Summer Randalas by Camille Andrikova. And I finished this whip. lighthouse. Oh, I like the sparkle. Look at that. That's so pretty. Sparkly page. I like this book. It just, the pages are a little bit more busy than usual, so it takes a little bit longer to get through. Then I worked out of, these are my hardbacks. This is Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. And I did this page. And I like how it turned out. The background, I was going for an evening vibe, but it didn't really work very well, but it's okay. And then I did these two side pages. I'm still working on this. I got to finish that one. But yeah, I enjoyed working out of this book this month. It was fun. 
I finished this whip too. I had a little bit left on the background and then I finished these two houses and then oh yeah I did this page I like how this one turned out this one turned out nice I feel like I, I got a little bit done out of this book this month so I was pretty pleased with that Next, I worked out of Nightfall by Maria Troll, and I did it this page. This was a whip for a really long time, and then I finally finished it. Then I worked out of Color and Beauties by Daria Kuroski. And I did this one. She's different. I like her. I don't normally go for these type of pages, but I just wanted to do something different. Next, I worked out of Autumn Patterns by Color Questopia. And I did this page. This turned out pretty. I like it. Next, I worked out of stained glass patterns, and I finished this whip. Then I worked out of large print chibi Halloween by Satch and Satch Diva. And I did this one. And this one. Then I worked out of 50 space themed miniatures by Camilla Angelkova. And I did this guy. I thought he turned out cute. I did this one. And I did this one. Sorry, I keep trying to move the tripod so you guys can see it better. Last group was Fairies of the Fray Volume 1 by D.W. Cook. And I did this one. I like her. She's pretty. And this one's in pencil, so she's going to take me a little bit to do. Then we have 80s New Wave. It's a new book of mine, so this went towards Color Your Horde tag. And I did this one. Then I worked out of Fairies and Fantasy Volume 3 by Christine Karen. And I finished this whip. And I did this one. And they turned out okay. They weren't my favorite pages that I've ever done out of these books, though. Then I worked out of Fairies and Fantasy 5 by Christine Karen. And... Oh yeah, this is a whip, so this one is not even close to being done yet. Oh, I did this one. I was like, I thought I did another one. Did this page. I love her. She's pretty. And I did this page in July. And last but not least, I worked out of Color by Colors Tetris, and I did this surfer page. So 
so yeah that is my finished pages for the month i hope you guys liked it um comment below and tell me what your favorite picture was and if you're new please like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out to get those numbers up i'd like to get to a thousand subscribers i'm at 750 so every sub helps and i appreciate you all and i hope you guys have a good holiday weekend don't forget to drink your water and take your meds and um, say something nice about yourself and yeah if you have a new coloring channel please link it down below also so we can check it out and I hope you guys have a good day a good night or whenever it is you're watching this talk to you later bye